got the 93 kilo lifter from Puerto Rico guest lifting here today. He's in the IPF and this is Jonathan Rivera and his handler, Susie Gary. So to start with, um, do you want to just uh, make a little opening statement on your performance today? What this meet means to you? Well, first of all, this means the world to me to be here in, against, I mean, to be alongside the very best in the world, you know, being on a platform like this, it's just... It to me is so you people probably be ner it's gonna it's probably normal but for us people back home from Puerto Rico it's like it's like it's the biggest thing ever that's ever gonna happen to us you know just to be here like I said to compete against the very best in the world to be handled by Matt and Susie Gary it's just it's mind blowing I can't believe it I I still haven't found the perfect word to explain how I feel right now but it's amazing I I mean I'm having such a great time really. Yes, I do. Um, I just want to say how proud of I am. He's, he's a young lifter, and he came in, and he was honest. He said, I'm a little nervous. I've never been in you know, a big stage like this. And I just told him, look, you're here for a reason. You can do your job. And I was so proud of how he handled himself. And I explained to him, you know, nerves and adrenaline feel the same, so just embrace it. And he went out there, and he crushed it, and he hit a PR squat and a PR total, and he had a great day. I did. Couldn't have gone smoother than that. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, I just want to start by saying congratulations. Thank you. you. A fantastic performance. You went eight for nine. You hit a PB squat. Um, uh, I believe you hit a nice big PB total. Um, and you said this means a lot to you. What do you think that this might mean now that you go, you carry this with you and you go back to, to Puerto Rico and you're kind of leading by example? What do you think this might mean to other powerlifters in Puerto Rico who see you do, coming to this level? That anything is possible, literally, because back home, you know, as you might maybe know, uh, back home to, to be at a position where I'm at right now, it takes a lot of hard work, a lot of belief in yourself. You know, a lot of sacrificing because back home we don't have enough help like you people over here have. You know, it's just tough to live there. So to know that the four years that I've worked for powerlifting and just to be here, even though I'm not the strongest, near stronger than, than the people who are competing, you know, it's it's a blessing in the sky. It really means a lot, you know, and it wouldn't have been possible if I had the, the friends and the support that I have back home because – you know, when you have support and you have people next to you that, that believe in you, you just, sometimes you just need one person to believe in you. It doesn't matter if the whole world's against you. If just one person believes in you, everything is possible. So back home to the people from Puerto Rico, that everything, literally anything is possible. If I made it here, they can all do it too. So that could pay a, a good wave to all the young athletes that's starting. So. Yeah. Um, so now that you kind of carry this performance back with you to Puerto Rico, you hit some new personal bests. What do, what do you think's next for you? Do you have plans in terms of the next competition, or what would you like to do moving forward? Uh, I want to go to the NAPF, the North American, uh, in Cayman Islands. I want to do raw and equipped. I know there's a lot of controversy on doing both of them, but uh, I want to do it. You know, I just I want to challenge myself. So I want to see how how high I could put my standards. But definitely the North American one, win gold on both ends, or try at least. But that's definitely the next goal. excited and like a very excitable type of lifter. Today you seemed very calm and very mature. Um, what's ha what did you do in between then and now, to, you know, to kind of ch change as a person and as a lifter? Well, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to be very honest. Uh, during that time, I was going through a really severe depression. You know, I wasn't eating. Uh, g going day by day, it was very hard. So to me, that day, the only thing that I had left was just competing. Just I just wanted to compete. And I just, my, you know, my emotions were all over the place because I just, I wanted to prove to myself, not to anyone, not, not to anyone back home, I just wanted to prove to myself that it, I'm worth it. You know, I'm, I'm worth enough. I know what my value is. So for me being in a really rough depression, having, I mean, feeling like crap, to be honest, you know, just to get the gold medal and make the, make everyone proud back home, my mom proud and especially myself proud, just meant a lot, but that moment to now, I just feel my, more in control of my emotions. So that means a lot. It really does. You know, to see how everything's changed to that North American to being at Raw Nationals is it's crazy. I really can't find a perfect word to feel to say how I'm feeling right now. It's crazy. This is crazy. I know when we get back home, we were gonna be like, what just happened? <laughs>
that's it for questions. Thank you so much for coming, and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the Cayman Islands, man. All right, man. Thank you guys so much. It means a lot, really.